who because of his stand against indecent dressing in public and the unofficial title of Minister for Miniskirts has rested. Father Simon Lokodo always stood his ground against any unethical behavior in society. And where need arose, he meant what he said, took action and defended it. I am not worried, I am not concerned. On the contrary, I'm tranquil because I know any sensible person will take this positively. His death is a peak of a 64-year-old journey that began on 28th October 1957 when he was born. The holder of a Bachelor of Arts degree in theology from the Pontifical Abanyana University hailed from Kabong district of Karamoja in northeastern Uganda. His Master of Arts degree in theology was also obtained from the same University of Rome. Actually, I am the one going to um, own this bill. Even the regulations are going to be um, formulated by me, by my ministry, of course, want to say, with the help of the judiciary. Described as dynamic, he is also a holder of a diploma in rural sociology, another in philosophy and social science, and a certificate in Italian language. His love for theology dates back to his tertiary education when he obtained a diploma from Makerere University. What I know is we are going to put measures, measures that are going to respect every individual and you only get criminalized when you are a criminal. Known to be linguistic, Lokodo also holds a certificate in German language obtained from an institution in Austria. He was also fluent in the French language, having obtained a certificate from an institution in Paris, the capital of France. One of the things I've learned is that uh, even priests, when they are still on the other side serving, in some instances, it, you may say, you don't need to join politics, but I think they can have a voice. You know, he came this side and had a voice. I think even when they are the other side, they should have a voice. At the age of 49, Lokodo joined parliament after winning a by-election for Dodoth County in June 2006. This resulted from the death of an incumbent member of parliament. Prior to becoming Minister of State for Ethics and Integrity, he served as State Minister for Industry between 2009 to 2011. After replacing Dr. James Nsababuturo in the Ethics and Integrity Ministerial Docket, he focused on fighting unethical behaviors in society. And Scots of law will determine whether the person is guilty or not and the verdict follows with a penalty that is next to the, to the law. It is a commitment that Uganda and the world will miss about him as attested by former presidential candidate Professor Venatius Bariam Reba. He tried his level best to fight corruption. He tried his level best to promote ethics in this country and integrity. He's done his part. He's run his race. But time has come for him to go and be with the Lord. It is sad, it's unfortunate, but uh, that's how life is. Whoever is born with human flesh, time comes when you have to pass on. By the time of his death, he was serving as a member of the Uganda Human Rights Commission, having lost his parliamentary seat in the recent elections. Henry Okrut, UBC.